garlic butter shrimp on the Blackstone. One of the quickest, easiest little snacks or turn it into a full meal. This one is so garlicky good and you guys know I love garlic. So let me show you guys how to make these at home on your Blackstone. I've got the new country crock drizzle and sizzle this I am seeing all over social media especially people using it on their griddle so of course I thought this would be perfect to try on my garlicky butter shrimp which is usually loaded or drowned in some unsalted butter but I really want to see how this comes out with this drizzle and sizzle I've got jumbo shrimp which are wild caught peeled and deveined already and I did run my knife along on the back side to butterfly these. This way they plump up when they cook. I'm gonna marinate these in a little bit of avocado oil. Use any neutral oil that you like. Load it up with the Blackstone Tuscan Herb Seasoning. This is so earthy. Italian seasonings all blended perfectly together. Give that a mix and slide that aside into the fridge for at least 20 minutes to marinate. In the meantime, I've got some Italian flat leaf parsley. We'll chop that up. I've got a bow boatload of fresh garlic. Fresh garlic is key. I am going to go for half of it grated and then half of it chopped. This way I get a really deep garlic flavor without having too much chopped garlic in here for my kids. And then we'll need some fresh lemon for this recipe. One lemon I'm going to be juicing. The other lemon I'm going to slice into rounds. Just nice thin slices. This is going to cook with our shrimp. We'll get our black stone turned on, let that preheat, give it a quick clean with a little bit of water to steam lift anything that might be on there that I don't want and then let it dry just for a minute. Then give it a light spray or coating of oil. Spread that around. This will keep my seasoning nice and even each and every time I cook. Let's grab that country crock drizzle and sizzle. Get it down on to the griddle. I love this because it can stand up to the high heat. No artificial flavors or preservatives. Drop down those shrimp and allow them to start sizzling on our hot griddle. We're gonna add a little extra of our Tuscan herb seasoning all over these shrimp. Add more of that drizzle and sizzle as you're cooking if needed. Now shrimp cooks super fast, so I wanna get my garlic on here. Allow that garlic to marry with our shrimp. The last minute or so, add our lemon and some fresh parsley over these. Give them one last toss, a post dust of our Tuscan herb. Now at the last minute where I usually drown the shrimp in some butter, I'm gonna switch it up, making this a little bit healthier and drown it in some fresh squeezed lemon juice all over these shrimp, creating us a nice lemon sauce. And then that's it. All we have to do is plate these up. If you wanna eat these as an appetizer, they're ready to go. You can also serve these over a bed of rice or some pasta, maybe some garlic bread, or even in a sandwich if you cooked these without the tails on. There's so many options of how to enjoy these shrimp. These are so fresh, so good, and so fast to make. I love how much garlic is in these and all of the fresh lemon, and I know you guys are gonna love them just as much as I do. So be sure to post a picture when you make them. Until next time, I'm Black So and Betty. I cannot wait to see you for another family style favorite in my next video.